This is like this is rather like going to a restaurant and getting a taster menu. You're not going to be in any of these buildings for too long because otherwise you wouldn't see it. So uh, we'll tell you when we arrive what time you need to leave, and it will be frustrating. You know, you may only have 15 or 20 minutes somewhere, but as I say, these are unique snapshots of buildings that, in some cases, you wouldn't get to on any other day of the year, particularly when the Chandler's house is just never open. One thought, we'll talk about the bus itself at some point on the journey when we got a second, but the bus is the sixth venue. The bus itself is a great piece of London architecture. We're travelling on a very historic route past the bus, it's nearly 50 years old, um, and indeed, for those of you, well you've all answered the question correctly, what you're travelling on is not just any other route master, but it was the route master that, that conducted the last ever uh, uh, crew operated bus service in London just uh, just slightly less than nine years ago. It was the last route master to operate in London in December 2005. Built in 1967, so it's just short of its 50th birthday. Remind, you know, we, we come off the modern city into something that's clearly, clearly much older. Now, many of you will know this, but just very briefly, the history of the temple. This is a very ancient site. The temple church itself, as you can see, is just through that arch there, whilst badly damaged in the Second World War, is a spectacular, spectacular uh, remnant of the site here owned by the Knights Templar, the great crusading knights of the of medieval times. They always built their churches as round churches in memory of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. Now the Inns of Court, you will remember, know the names of Gray's Inn and Lincolnson, were basically, they were rather like Oxford or Cambridge colleges, where lawyers started to live and to practice. Very few of them live here now, but they are still the centres of practice, and barristers are all registered to one of the Inns of Court, so these are barristers, not solicitors. And here we have three the inner temple, the middle temple, and the outer temple. We've walked past the outer temple, we're now in the middle temple. So these are institutions that go right back to the late medieval period. Substantially large building, you know, a hall as in a, in a college, the kind of main space of assembly and so forth. And its woodwork, its screen and roof and so forth, are spectacular. which of course, many of you will know, was the, the source that he acknowledges when Sir Giles Gilbert Scott designed the K2 telephone kiosk, what we would call a telephone box, in 1927. His source was a John Soane So the similarity to a red telephone box is, is real and intentional. <laughs> 